Mother's Day is coming up. It is six days away. It's May 2024, six days away. Mother's Day is coming up. I'm thinking about, I'm divorced less than a year. I don't want to have anything to do with my ex-wife. I don't want to talk with her. I don't want to be around her. I don't want to see her. It's kind of sad to be in that state, but I am getting her something for my kids to give her for Mother's Day. Why am I doing that? I don't do things for the benefit of my ex-wife. I did things for her benefit when we were married. I don't do things for her benefit anymore because we're not, that's, she's not my person anymore. I'm crafting my six-year-old especially. I'm crafting her experience and her beliefs and teaching her how to love somebody. And, and um, I want her to have a sense of calm with her mom and dad, even though we aren't married. So I'm getting her involved. And uh, she loves gifts. My six-year-old loves getting gifts and she likes giving gifts. And my 15-year-old, um, who is, is actually uh, my ex-wife's son from another, from a previous marriage, He's also living with me and I don't, you know, I want him to, to see um, love towards his mother as well and, and have an experience that uh, shows a very different vibe than what we've had the last year going through this divorce, um, which was her idea. It's been very, I don't even like bringing it up, but just contextually, I'm not in a space where I want to do anything nice for her. Hell no. I'm crafting this experience and this holiday or this, this day for mothers for my kids. Do the same for you. Do the same for your kids. If you're married, oh man, such a good experience. You could be so all up in your wife's business on Mother's Day and do all sorts of stuff. I don't have uh, their mom as my wife, so I can't be that involved. <clears throat> but I can craft an experience that my kids can be a part of that they feel good about. I encourage you as dads, especially if you're divorced, to think about something easy and simple you can get your kids involved with for this Mother's Day. And you have six days, okay? If you're, re if you're watching this on Monday, it's, it's Monday the 6th of May, 2024. You have until Sunday, so think about it. And husbands, think about your wife's love languages. Think about, you know, get her a coffee mug that's the, the, the colors that she likes or a theme that she likes or get her, you know, get her something or do something for her that speaks her love languages as an example. Okay. I love you. Make these holidays somehow special and warm. Okay. Come from a place of love. Even when you don't feel like the person that it involves, um, that you want to do anything for them. Cause uh, sometimes it doesn't, it's not just about them. Sometimes it's about your heart and getting to a point where you can love during difficult times. And sometimes it's crafting things for your kids, which is very important and showing them how to love and keeping them involved. Side note, this is icy, ooh, icy water. I've been doing like a dunk your face thing uh, for the past almost week. It's kind of cool, kind of cold. Uh, it's kind of one of those ice bath things, um, but I don't want to dunk my whole body in a bunch of ice water. So love you, go do something for Mother's Day.